So let's just have a look at a comparison of a Grenache vine on the right and a Carignan on the left. So first of all, on the Carignan, we have quite a lot of bunches of grapes. Quite plentiful, and the raisin has not quite happened yet. The bunches are well formed and quite loose. But there's plenty of them around here on this branch. A little bit of coulure there, where the bunches don't set properly and the berries fall off. But that looks quite healthy. And then there's the telltale red colour in uh, a lot of the vine material as it grows that often indicates Carignan. Moving on to the Grenache. Oh, sorry, yes, the Grenache here. Now, this has a very bad case of shatter and the bunches don't form properly. And incredibly sketchy bunches or no bunch at all, which is largely what's happened on this one. All sections where there's nothing, really. A few grapes. Bothering picking. And a few bunches that are reasonable, but not much to speak of. So I fear quite a lot of the Grenache in this vineyard is um, like this. And that is not great. The yield's going to be really pretty low. And can be saved once again by the Carignan yielding well, which is what normally happens in this vineyard. Generally, if you see a well-laden vine in the distance, it's probably a Carignan. And then we have a lot of other vines mixed in. Some Grenache Gris, some Grenache Blanc. Um, of Carignan Blanc, we think. Very occasional Muscat vine. Here's another Carignan. Plenty of grapes on this. And this is a little Grapion, which you can probably take off because it's not as advanced as the rest. Secondary set bunch. Um, won't ripen in time, so that's right away. So prospects this year? I don't know. I think fairly low yield. Potentially moderately good quality. If we get a little rain and warm and dry sunshine between now and harvest, which will be six or seven weeks' time.